Some of the most vulnerable in our community scammed out of millions. And no one is off limits. Tonight, News 3 speaks to a former director of the FBI and CIA as he shares how he was targeted in a Jamaican lottery scam. Investigative reporter Margaret Cavanaugh joins us with the recorded phone calls of what appears to be threats against the victim and his family. He spent his career working to protect the American people. 98-year-old Judge William Webster served as the director of the FBI, then the director of the CIA. And I was the target of an elder fraud scheme. Now he's being featured on an FBI public service announcement warning others. He got all sorts of calls. He got calls offering him a Mercedes. Remember you got the Mercedes call and all they wanted was $5,000 for shipping. One caller in 2014 told him he won millions. The total value of the award is about um, seven, it is about 70, at about 72 million. 72? 72 million. You're the first place winner. But he just needed to pay $50,000. The couple said they declined the offer. The caller got aggressive. And the moment you arrive, I'm going to put a shot in your head. I'm going to burn your house down. I won't, I don't play. Threatened to kill me, kill my husband, burn our house down. He said he knew we lived in a white brick house and that my brains would look just lovely spewed across the bricks. Well, you had to wonder whether they were serious, whether they really intended to do something. The FBI says each year millions of elderly Americans fall victim to some type of financial fraud or Internet scheme. One billion dollars was lost in 2020, which is a $300 million increase from 2019. Now this couple is speaking out and warning others. And we have heard stories of people who've lost up to million dollars or more. Uh, people have taken their lives because they're so embarrassed and they don't want to move back in with their children and they have no way to earn that money back when they're in, in their late 80s, early 90s. So it's a very serious thing and we're trying to put an end to it. The advice from experts, check on your older loved ones. Linda told me that she was listening in on phone calls being made to her husband. They say sometimes the seniors may not realize that they're being victimized or they could be very embarrassed. Now, the fraudster will sometimes do research on the victim, and the man in the Webster's case is currently serving a 72-month sentence in prison for what he did to them. Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.